Hi, I'm Dr. McCreen, and I'm here to share with you my very best skin secrets. Well, let's talk about anti-aging at any age, looking at each decade separately. When you're in your 20s, this is when skin aging actually begins. Studies have shown that collagen and elastin decreases in our 20s, and that's when wrinkles first start to show. So what ingredients do we want to start to put into place? Well, I say, you know, you want to start young to stay young. And so if you start by giving your skin the nutrients and the raw materials it needs to protect itself from sun damage and prevent skin aging, you're going to really put off the manifestation of those wrinkles. So what kind of antioxidants should you look for? Well, look for vitamin C, E, ferulic acid, resveratrol, or plant polyphenols. These can be extracts of green tea or coffee or cacao or feverfew. These are ingredients that are plant-derived that will work to prevent those early signs of aging that start when you're in your 20s. When you're in your 30s, the aging process starts to really ramp up. In this decade, that's when damage to the skin starts to show with brown blotches, also called lentigenes. In our parents' generation, they used to actually call them age spots or liver spots. Affectionately, when we're young, we call them freckles. So when do they turn from freckles to age spots? When they no longer fade as the seasons change. That's my typical definition for when freckles have now tipped over into age spots. And that usually happens in your 30s. So what do you do about that? Look for products that contain amino acids or amino acid-derived lightening agents. These are hydroquinone-free and work to interrupt or reverse the abnormal pigment production due to age spots or sunspots. What about our 40s? Well, by the time we get into our 40s, the wrinkle and laxity accumulation starts to really show itself. That loss of collagen and elastin really starts to accumulate in this decade. It's really important to get on the bandwagon by the age of 40. So what you want to look for are products that contain peptides. Peptides work to boost the skin, to increase the substance of the skin so that you have less wrinkles, and it helps to firm the skin and tighten the skin. So what I've done is I've sourced the world's safest plant-derived peptides that work to firm and boost these levels. In, for example, my 37 Active Neck and Decolletage Anti-Aging Treatment, this has the highest concentration of an organic plant-derived peptide that works to firm and tone. And you can use it not just in the lower face where jowls start to form, but also in the neck and chest. And this is really important in your 40s. By the time you get into your 50s, a lot of people at that age have a breakdown of a lot of the different parts of skin aging. So you not only have the wrinkles and the laxity and, and the brown spots, but now you also have broken capillaries or redness, the complexion is no longer lustrous and luminous. So it's really important that you work on a coordinated effort to deal with all the different signs of skin aging. Look for products that contain deep puffing agents to decrease those on derived puffs. So things like coffee seed extract, natural caffeine, tea extract, cacao, feverfew, bisabolol, the natural extract of chamomile, these work in concert to deep puff the skin and to reduce redness and ruddiness so that your skin complexion is more even and more beautiful. Now let's talk about skin myths. A lot of people think you need to layer on lots of products. You need to have a separate cream for day, a separate cream for night, a serum, a toner, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. Six products to get all these different aspects of skin care under control. Well, I believe it's a myth, and why is that? There's really no rhyme or reason as to why you need to have six different products to get what you need on your skin. The truth is, what you want are six different sets of ingredients. Hence, in the marketplace, it evolved into a line of products where you had to apply six different steps to get all the desired ingredients on the skin. But it turns out that if you can get these six different sets of ingredients in one pot, you're covered. You actually only need one pot 
that you can apply to all your concerns and all your needs. So for example, if you already have your antioxidants that you would otherwise put in a serum, active and stable in your facial cream, that's fine. If you already have your depuffing agents that you would use for your under eye, but actually really benefit the entire face, then that's fine. If you have your peptides that you really do want everywhere that ordinarily would be relegated to a night cream, why not get it on twice a day? It actually works even better if you dose it twice a day. So there's really no rhyme or reason to why you would want to have to layer on different products. And there's another problem with layering, and that's parabens and preservatives. Preservatives are designed so that there, there's a maximal allowable amount of preservative you can put in a product. So that means that products are made with the presumption that you're only using that one product every day. Well, imagine if you have that preservative in six different products. You're putting six times the maximal allowable amount of that preservative on your skin. So you're really putting on too much of that preservative and the net harm you could theoretically do to your skin would be more than the benefit you would get from the active ingredients that are in that product. So what I've striven to do in my brand is eliminate toxic preservatives altogether. And on top of it, you're not even layering. You're putting on one product twice a day. So it eliminates the risk that you see that you would get if you were to layer on products that each had separate preservatives.